we're rolling. They're watching. This is, this is where you say stuff, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So I want to walk into the video and sit down. I'm okay, just, go right ahead. Yeah. I just want to be like randomly hanging out and then coming in. So you would talk. Oh. <laughs> Hello, people. Um, there's an empty chair right here next to me. Oh, who could it be? You, you do know that, that I leave all that stuff in the beginning in there, right? Of course. <laughs> Let me have a sip. You know, I would, I would introduce you with your full name, only that I'm actually fighting with the pronunciation of your last name because I, I, I don't actually know how to say that right. You do? No. Majora. No, I don't very know. Easy. If you, if you pronounce it Thai, then it would be Mayula. Ah. I, 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 would, I would do it Mexican. Mahura. Mahura? Yeah. Or Spanish? Gen Mahura. I like the Spanish. <laughs> Gen Mahura. Sounds like Klingon. He's like, hey. Hey, did you guys know that <laughs> Glenn is wrong, by the way? But Glenn is with us. Yes. So good. With his cute Canadian yeah. socks. This sweater is very lukewarm. I'm sorry, but I totally wanted you to wear it because I love it. And one day, one day, you're going to give it to me. You gave one to Nita. No. She was wearing the pink one. Yeah, but she didn't, she didn't get, get that. We, we, uh, we were auctioning that off. Oh, I see. Okay. She wanted to have this one. I thought that Daniel loaned this to me. I would never think he would give this to me. Oh. And then I gave it back to him and he's like, well, obviously Henning doesn't want it. So then he gave it to Nita. And I'm like, oh, it was for me? Oh, damn it, I didn't know this. Then oh. Nita and I, we went rock, paper, scissors, and I won. Okay, I need to have one too. It's, I'm uh, this really is probably jealous. extremely rare. I, I love it. And it's one of the original ones, right? I had one of those. I actually had a universe in that color. I got oh, rid of it. I was about to say, fuck you, Henning, but I'm not on, on, on the other. I'm sorry. What? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> So what, um, are we, what are we doing today? Mm. Like, I, I just The interesting thing is, Jen has no idea what we're doing. Yeah. We're reviewing something that you guys, of course, know because you already read the title. That's why you're here. Or you're probably here because of Jen. You, and you don't care what we do. And I don't know what's happening. No, you have absolutely no idea, which is funny. Okay. Um, we're going to run around in the uh, garden. That's going to be part run around in the garden? That's going to be part of the video, yes. Okay. Okay. That's the guitar you usually play, right? Uh, yeah. That's, okay. I have the same one. It's a uh, Le Bleu. Uh, put that away. First, we're unboxing something. Okay. We're looking all in right. the box and see what it does and all that stuff. Uh, the nice uh, people. That's a great guitar stand. Hercules stand. Yep. Great uh, the nice stands. people from uh, Le Toman or Le Toman? Tidotman, because. The Tidotman, yes. yeah. Uh, they have this in house brand called Th The T Bone with double T's in it. It's kind of like weird logo. There's The T Bone, but then there's. The to the, 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 the TT bone. Yeah, wait, the TT bone? Um, so they have this new wireless system. They have this very inexpensive one like that just clips on the guitar and then yeah. clips in the amp. 89 bucks, it's called the Airborne. Yeah. It does the job when you just need an inexpensive wireless. It's, right. it's similar to the X5, it's similar to the one that Boss has for 170. Mm -hmm. um, Line 6 has the G10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a really small one. I have it at home too. With uh, with a little stand. Yeah, um, I and you would charge it and. Yeah, it in. I uh, I looked at that for the uh, Christmas uh, gifts, and mm -hmm. it's decent, and it's like under 150, I think. Me as an endorsee, I don't know. You have no idea. Um, <laughs> that's a decent system. Now this is a more professional one. It clocks in at 199. And um, let's see what's in the okay, box. Cool. Let's unbox it. As a, as a in-house brand which usually means a lot of value for what you're paying. Mm -hmm. For 199, which is higher than a lot of the competition, this has to be really good. Mm -hmm. This has to Let's offer see. a lot of stuff. So, first of all, we have two manuals. Two manuals. Why two? Or well, if we had a manual, it would be a manual cunt. But <laughs> with two manuals, it's it's not two manual cunt because that's not funny. Oh no, no. smart ass is like German Bedienungsanleitung and, and user manual. Okay. okay. Thick, thick ass ones. Yeah. Not a lot of colors in it, though. But 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 we don't read manuals, right? No, no, we throw them Okay, out. good. Um, Learning by doing, people. I don't... And it comes with a little cardboard strip. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's where you... Have? So, um, we have... Well, you, you do. Everything is twice. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Le layers, as they say in French. That's two T's, two, two layers, two... 
<laughs> Manuals, everything is twice in this thing. Um, what else? Start with whatever. Okay. I first want to see this part. Okay. My first, when I saw that, my first impression was that big. It is. Especially if you have a guitar. If you put that on a strat, you you're not going to be happy. Can you, can you move this part? Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> she, she, can you move you, this knack? <laughs> how do you put this, how do you plug it into, if you have a Fender Stratocaster or the S-Series from, from Ibanez? Like, how would you use it? It wouldn't even work. Do you have one here? If you do I have a strat here. I'm sorry. <laughs> you do, of course. Yeah, let's see if this works. Try this. That's not Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go with no. It works, but it looks... I don't want to be on stage with Okay, this. we're moving on. Okay. Wait, wait, more, more, more. Um, AZ, where it's recessed yeah. like that. No. That doesn't look safe. Yeah, that's exactly... Oh, but you can move it a little bit. But yeah, but that's in, not sexy. Then it's in the way where the strap goes. Which is what I what I criticize, but we're going to get to that. Okay. Giga Pro GT. So, I immediately said when I saw that, yeah, see? Because you can, t you can screw that off on, unscrew that. Look, and then you have it. Yeah, but. Oh, smart asses, I see. That is very neat. It's, the gold plated is nice. Yeah, it looks. It's this, um, let's go to the slider too. Cause this is uh, like a fabric, what is it called? Like yeah. a nylon. So that's really is nice. It? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not it going to get stuck nice. on anything. Yeah. And this is also gold. Um, so you And you can adjust this one. And then you put that on your strap. And that goes in the guitar. How? Like, wait. Push it in harder. Wait, there you go. And then screw it tight. It's like a headphone adapter, which is pretty smart because it's probably parts that you can get anyway. But where, how would you, where, how do you... Fix it to your... Um. I had all these questions. People, seriously? Everything is twice. Well, because... Well, we get to this. I don't know how to do this. We're going to have to figure it out. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Here. Um, um. Um, you figure it out. <laughs> so, everything is twice because we have a charger. Like the line can, six can I break it? <laughs> no, don't break it. Do we actually need the manual? No. <laughs> Learning? No, this is wrong. It's gonna be a way to put that up. <laughs> Jesus. Look at the weak little girl. She can't get it fixed. It's gotta be like this, right? Yeah. Am I stupid? I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. <sighs> So that's a minus for me. Like, you can't even figure out how to... If this has to be like it this. It has to be like it. Wait, here we go. And... Nope, that's not it. It's gotta be... Wait, it's gotta be like this. Because this is the short end. The, 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 the. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh, one side is wider. Here, you show there. Once, uh, this side is wider than the top. So you just have to look at how that attaches. And now you have a very solid attachment for a strap. And should that ever break, you don't have to throw your whole uh, well, if, transmitter if I, away. Wait, wait a minute. If I want to put this like to the back of my pants yeah. and I wear a belt, it's impossible. It goes on your guitar strap. If, if I put it to the... Yeah, well, guitar players do it different. I don't know. Sometimes you would put it to the, to the guitar strap and sometimes you would put it like... You can pants. totally do that. I assume. Um, comes with a big ass bad, uh, big ass um, accumulator. No, Akku. Uh, rechargeable battery, which looks propri proprietary. It looks like something you can't just get two or three off on Amazon. <laughs> you might. It's, it's green. It actually fits okay. my sweater perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, let's find out. This is where it goes, right? This is all so bad, just to let you know. Um, so, this is kind of cool. Um, now, okay. <laughs> um, okay, if you want to charge this. How do you do that? Or you have to take this off again. Really? Um, 
Um, we're finding some some <laughs> some little problems with this. Some little issues. Yeah, because you have to take this clip off again if you want to charge it. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? The antenna doesn't go. It. it the antenna goes down here. Oh. But you can't fit this in there with the clip. And you have to go through that pain in the ass thing every time you want to use it. Nah. Unless you can fit, fit the clip well. We, 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 I want to know. I want to know. So <laughs> we'll attach the clip as far as possible in, in the, the back. End. See, but that's an edgy thing. Like, Okay, I have it in the back here. That, that, that fits. But is it safe? Oh, it's actually in the front. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Okay, it works. We can push it down a little bit further. There should be like a safety lock, like a, like a little pin or something that it's, it's yeah. stable because that looks... But that works. Okay. You don't have to take it off. But what we're doing here is a workaround now. Yes. It's not... Okay, uh, but this is nice and that's what one of the power supplies is for. But it's the charger. the same. Is it? No. Okay, it's a little bit, it's, there is a little difference. Well, also, one of them is a tiny little pin. Okay, and the other one Which goes here. in here. And that's for your charger. And that's for the receiver? Now, the thing is, the fact that this is a weird-ass battery, if it goes... Yeah, but it's green. Yeah, but if it... Go <laughs> this is way too bright, by the way. Yeah. Um, if it goes down before a gig... Yeah, where do you see it? You see that here. You see, uh, there's a charging Little thing that's the on. Green. It is two out of three, so that's good. We can use it. Um, however, do you have a second one of these batteries? If so, how do you mm -hmm. charge them? Because you charge them in here. Yeah, and you can use it. Yeah, so... So you would use a cord while the time... How long does it, is the duration of it? I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume long. I definitely... Define long. A gig. That's not long. Two gigs. Two gigs. 4.9 gigs. What do I know? 4.9 gigs. Okay, Henning says the duration is 4.9 gigs. We, we could read that in the manual. <laughs> no. No. We don't pay attention to manuals. Go to the web. Go to Just play the fucking show with it and then see when you're retired. Go to Toman. Go to the product side. <laughs> we could do that now, but uh, we don't want to. No. So, um... It, it would... You can buy a second one of these batteries, but... In order to charge it, you also have to buy a charger. And for me, going to a gig, even if this is completely full, trusting only one battery yeah, in a gig, have, I don't like it. Two of these devices, yes. one a spare, and then using one while charging yeah. the other, just in for, case. For which they would have to sell these separately. Yes. Yeah. Oh, would, yeah, char yeah true. Which, which I don't think they do. It would be great if they would come with like two of these and just one receiver. So you would have the. Are, I, are, I, and being able to switch between the two. And being, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, be, yeah well, I, I don't think it's designed that way, but I'm not sure. We already talked to them about that. That, w that would be a good idea. So let's look at this, because this is a, whoa, come on. Look, oh, quality. look, a wah pedal. I like a pedal. This is awesome. I can put it on the ground and go step on it. Yeah. Why are you here again? I wanted to visit you. Oh, great. No, I'm delighted. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Gonna, what do we have? You, do you want to peel it off? Peel it off! So, um, but what do you have to say about look quality? It's pretty decent, I would say. It's definitely not too light. It doesn't feel like plastic. It no. wouldn't fall off your amp if you put it on top of the amp. I think or pedal board. In front of your, or I think the idea is pedal board. Well, could be. Wherever you put it, it definitely doesn't fall. Um, so the way that it looks is... Um, Oh, damn it, it didn't sit. And it says proc mute. So you're only allowed to play proc music or you're on mute. It's proc I, mute. Now I know what I forgot. I forgot to set up a pedal cam. Because <laughs> I actually want to set up a camera for the pedal, which we're going to still be able to... Micro is... What the... There's a micro SD slot in the back. Go, go back in the... Why is there a micro SD slot in the back? Well, you can have your... Um, 
Oh shit! <laughs> I don't know. You can. But we can't look in the manual. You can no. No, it's got a micro SD slot for all your micro SD needs. No, for all the pictures that you have on your phone and you want to see them during the show. So there's this little display and you can see and watch the pictures I you just took. I highly doubt that. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, power, power, nine to twelve volt, one, one, one amp. One it, it has one amp. One ton. This is this is a very good pedal. It has one amp input on the nine volt. What what is what is this? It is a for the micro SD. But you open this and and then you put some micro SD in. Maybe it works as a drone if you throw it really high. Hmm. I have no idea. But we can't look in the. Oh look! It's I I misplaced it. Oh. Okay. Well, you hold this. I look. I, I at least look up the product page. Henning. I, we have to. What is this really? called? Really? What is this? The Giga Geek A Pro PR. Vocal set, pedal set. Here we go. Pedal set. Oh, what? it looks nice. It, it illuminates in, in green. If you. Um, eight frequencies per pedal. Robust. What is the SD side? Switchable face, four outputs. It's got an IR port for act sync function. Right, and Henning is going to explain to you what that is. Well, the, the port is for IRs, uh, so that you can access the ACT sync function. Mm -hmm. I mean, we always, all of us need to ACT sync once in a while. And this allows you to do that. I don't know. <coughs> so let's look at a couple of things. You can use it. Yeah. It says optional cable operation. Ah, that's uh, what? Optional cable operation. But I think they well, mean. Well, if, if, you, if you're playing a show and you're mm -hmm. on stage and you out of a sudden have an accident and you need surgery, that's when you have the operation. So this device will help you with it. <coughs> I don't want an operation on my cable. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Um, I, I don't I, I have no idea um, because I thought this has an input in case everything goes down oh, you can just yeah. input no it, it doesn't oh, it's have just an input. on this side it has two outputs so per program switchable output and then a tuner out and an XLR, XLR out for acoustics that's pretty cool it has a feedback a 31 frequency feedback programs that's, that's to cool kill well. feedback frequencies oh, cool. on acoustic um, I already feel that this isn't going to be a very good review of this but um we're going to plug it in, and we're going to okay. try it. Okay. On the table... Oh, shit. Now I see the part where I'm running around in the yes, garden. Yes, exactly. Okay. That's okay. Mm. Available at Teespring. So, we have an extra... Uh, <laughs> now I see it. It says, along came a spider. Oh, God. <laughs> it's pretty good. <coughs> so, okay. we have a camera here now. Um, so... This is the correct one. Um, I also have to turn the Bing off. So, we're going to give this power. All right. Uh, we're gonna is this even charged? Yes. Okay. It, it has two out of three dots. It comes charged? A little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Would be sad to... Wait. Okay. Would be sad to get something that you then can't try. Oh, look at that screen. That's kind of cool. Where do ah oh this is it's like a there's a reflection on that screen now. <laughs> there you go, and we zoom in here. I'm working on it, okay? Okay. I completely forgot to set this up. So that's program. Why are you so shaky? Are you nervous? What? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, this is different. I don't know how to. I just move the pedal. There we go. Here. You see that reflection, that, right? I see it. I, there's nothing I can do about it. You could also it's just not that I'm shut your <laughs> trap about that, okay? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> so, um, we have two outputs, a tuner out, which we don't necessarily need. We need a little cable because I set up an AB switch. Apparently, it also has different cable sounds. Different cable sounds. Because people like the sounds of different cables. Uh-huh. Okay. What what sound do you want from well, your cable? No, seriously, I, I was a firm believer in that cables don't really make a difference. Oh, they do? Oh, they do. Because then I went to the studio and I took, I got a lot of different clots cables and I, I recorded the same thing. 
and there is a major big yeah. difference in cables. I had no idea my entire life I thought cables are cables, but no. But I personally wouldn't pick this cable over this cable. I would just get a really expensive one to make sure that my mm -hmm. signal is the best I can have. I, t I tested like it, it was like seven, eight different clouds cables and I, it, it's the higher price range, but it's not the most expensive one. Okay. And I really liked it. It also has to do with what kind of guitar you play, right? So yeah. the guitar and everything, the whole combination, you can't really say But it's there definitely the is a difference in low end response, in yes, dynamics. Definitely. You can absolutely tell the difference. And Now, if, it's, if it's got too much, I don't know if, uh, is that even a saying? Does a cable have has output? Not really, right? Well, what, what would you, how would you? Well, I mean, some cables suck a little bit more energy than yeah, others. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Hmm? So I had one cable, I'm, I'm not naming which model it was, but it sounded like... <laughs> it was, oh, wait, wait, it was can, you, can you please uh, do that again one more time? It's <laughs> oh, okay. That was the sound, pretty much. And I was like, <laughs> great cable. Ugh, I don't want that. And then I tested all the cloth cables, and they were... Some were a little bit thinner, some were, were a little bit more boomy, bassy, and it was really interesting. For example, the TM Stevens Klotz cable, the signature one, mm -hmm. it doesn't work with guitar, for my taste. But then on the other hand, you have guitar players' guitar cables, and I was like, no. Not your thing? Okay. It's, it's really, it's been interesting. Well, okay, I so, learned a lot. So, so it makes sense that this has different simulated impedances and cable yeah, sounds, I get. which I guess also the length, well, uh, of the length, length does the, matter, yeah. apparently, I have been told. <clears throat> of course. I'm sorry. Heading jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to sit here in a stupid sweater because of you. I never sit here in stupid sweaters. I love Ever. It. But it's just so good. I mean, um, look at you. Yeah, I'm pretty. So good. I love that swirl. Okay. Um, so, so you now? take the guitar. Okay. Look at this beautiful guitar, people. Which camera is it? Oh my god. <laughs> Here? No. Where? Ah! <laughs> This is confusing. You have way too much stuff going on. Okay, take this. I don't know who's going to watch a one-hour review of the Giga Pro set that isn't really about the Giga Pro set. Come on. But... See how he, here it starts. Put it. I would put it on here. Why am I saying that in that really high voice? That's weird. You can What are you trying to do? No, I usually, I usually plug mine like this. Oh. That works? No, 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 wait. Always. Of course. Be professional. This. You know, I, I have an error on my guitar, so I know where the... <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I have I thought errors on all my guitars, like right I, here. I thought your guitar tech is... Retarded? You know, retarded. No, That's, he's not. That, you I'm, are. I'm retarded. <laughs> okay, good. Big difference. Sorry, guitar <laughs> tech. Boring. Okay, so... Turn it on. What we would do... Okay, so technically over here. But I don't, I don't see which. Don't I have to like sync the channel channels or programs or anything. Um, it, this says seventy five percent. It it already sees the. Uh, I have an input here, and it says seventy five percent. So it sees the input. It, it sees the battery charge. Oh, I don't know what I'm selecting here. I don't know what I'm doing, at all. Can you select? Is there any signal at all? Uh, yeah, I have to Is turn... Is it a problem when I'm standing? Shall I sit down? Yeah, you should sit down, yes. Um, well, you have to turn the amp on and then... Do you need your pick? This one has only my name on it, but I don't play it. <laughs> it is... <laughs> It works fine here because we're close. Right? Well, and, and now let's look at sounds, I guess. Ah, here's an ACT button. Ah, here we go, here we go. If you, if you push the one in the middle, stuff happens. foot cable five Do you hear any 
difference? I don't hear a difference. 40 foot cable? 40 foot! Wait, let's turn the room. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll stop with off now. It's okay. off. Ah, there we go. Now you can hear it. Off. Cable. The highs are different. It's a little bit more yeah. frequencies as well. Which, which one is this now? 30 foot. Okay. It gets more woo, mm -hmm. right? More mid ends, the uh, low mids. Okay, now it starts to get muffly. And I don't change anything here. It's like tar. So I'll just down. I'll just go quickly between Yeah. The so in the end it's just a high frequency roll off yeah. and that's it. If you ask me. It's the same like as if you use this knob. Which nobody does that, right? <laughs> Sometimes on stretch I would. Acoustic something... Gain? You can, you can, Seriously. you can add gain. And you can go... You can go minus as well. What, make your guitar shitty? No, I mean go, go lower in gain. You can invert the phase. It's not that I can't play guitar, it's just I do the same thing to hear the differences, just to make that clear. You can set uh, whether it goes out of A, B and C, right now it's going out of all of them. Uh -huh. So for different programs you can have uh, different outputs. Mm -hmm. These are, are these knobs? Ah, okay, you can have different colors for the... See, for the... Uh, you can pick your own color. <laughs> probably for different programs. Could be. But then you should sync it with the color here. So if you're on the purple program, it should be a, like a small display where you can see it's a purple program, right? I have no idea. I don't even know if... What does this act thing do? It says act, but what is act? It's like a little red screen, it doesn't, it, it doesn't do anything. Do we need to look in the manual? No. No. Jen says no. Figure it out. Okay, there's quite a bit of stuff you can do. Mm. Uh, obviously, anti feedback, which we have to try with an acoustic. Um, Are we in the garden? Oh, no, not in the garden. So here I can switch only A, C, different outputs. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm only on C, which would be the XLR. But it's nice. It's nice that it can go everywhere. Yeah, it's cool. It comes with a lot of options, so. So the big question is, right now where it is, obviously you're not far. But we want to find out how does it sound compared to a cable. He's going to send me to the next village, like to the no, neighbor village. Before we I, do I'm that, before we do that, um, let's do... How do I even change programs? How do you mute? It's like pushing, right? Hold it. Ah. Ah, and you know what? I can't go to the next program because I probably only have one. Could be. Because it says program mute. So if I push it and nothing happens, it means I only have one program. Yeah, true. Okay. Okay, so play okay. Uh, clean or distorted? I don't care. It's your video. Let's do clean first. Mm -hmm. Play. Okay. And do you always play on the on the bridge pickup when you play clean? I hardly play clean. You want to have it like this? Better? Or you want to go for? Also nice. That's where they are. <coughs> okay, play. It's like a little bonfire. I 
friends. Do you? None that would matter on stage. No. I mean, it's, it's a little bit. You, you hear a little bit a difference in the, in the lower frequencies, but still. One more time. One more time. I imagine that there's a little bit more low end with yeah. the cable, but is, yes. is it imagined? Well, if you play in a high gain band. Realistically, let's let's talk realistically. A 200 euro system, realistically, you with Evanescence wouldn't play because you have probably systems that are in the 1500 to 2000 euro range by Sennheiser or Shure or whoever. So that is not going to be a system that big time professionals use but, but semi professional bands yes. absolutely for example in my music school we have this <clears throat> one band they're called one tape and they're like 17 18 years old so they play and record a little bit now they start touring and for them it would be great absolutely but yeah. my point is a band like this you 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 usually have to be very happy if the guitar in the clubs that you play is heard at all yeah i mean if the guy behind yeah. the mixing console is good enough to make sure the guitar is audible. Yeah, who's usually the bartender in the bar as well. So talking about the difference between cable and wireless for these situations of the level of people that will buy this for 200 bucks yeah. is completely beside the point. It's it's how much do you get for the price you pay? And for 200 bucks, I, I totally understand that this is a cool device. Now the question is, how far can we go? For which we're going to have to go in the garden. And of course, I did not... <clears throat> How big is your garden? Well, I, the problem is I did not open the gate so that we don't have to use the ramp. Leslie said, do it so Jen doesn't have to ramp. walk the ramp. What ramp? With the guitar. Ramp? The ramp for the dogs. You have to go up the dog ramp. I have to go up a dog ramp? It's about this wide. It's a death trap. <sighs> but I'll be there with the camera. <laughs> to film it <laughs> to when I'm playing. It. <laughs> So what we're doing now is you're gonna play and let's let's go let's go high gainy. Can I can I can I wear uh, like a sweater? I need to get a sweater first because it's not really warm. Summer is over, people. We'll be out there for like a minute, but okay. Oh wow. I'm sorry, Toman. This is not the video you commissioned. <laughs> it, oh, it, I ruined it. I'm sorry. No, no. I just this is devoid <laughs> of the information that they wanted me to present. They wanted me to actually talk about the features and stuff. Well, we, we still don't know what ACT means. Absolute. Are you right now scratching up my beautiful Ibanez with all no, your I don't. bling bling? No. Okay. So I'm gonna go to 14, where we're gonna have a nice high gainy Friedmany sound. <laughs> Okay, so... I don't know how your garden looks like. I'm a little bit nervous right now. No, don't be nervous. Um, so, we're going to run. You're going to see Jen. We can't I'm not running. Not a walk. We can't talk, but she will play and play and play. And hopefully, there will be level. Obviously, we're going behind a wall, which means we leave the door open, but it is not a realistic stage situation. Realistically, this room is bigger than the stages you will be playing on. <laughs> So if it works within the room, we're good. But we're gonna see at how many far away steppy meters it still works. And I, just in case, so when I walk out there and yeah. I'll enter the next neighbor village, can I can I stop walking then? Yes. Can we go? Okay, good. I will tell you when you when you stop walking. Okay. Um, so um, wait, that that did, did nothing. Wait. What? I'm trying to sing. Why but do it's you hit yourself? Because I'm trying to sing the camera. Can I hit you? Oh, stop hitting me! No, it's synced. Let's go, play. Okay. You play.
Henning's garden, and it's still... I still can hear it. I don't think we have to go any further. Do I have to go back down the death trap again? You need to hold onto the wall. Man, Hank! People, look what he, he makes me do! Wobbly. Wobbly. <laughs> I'm all good. I'm, oh, I got this, I got this, I got this. If I fall, this beautiful Ivan SRG 1070 will save my life. <sighs> okay, proven. So it's garden proof. If you want to have a party in the garden and want to play with your band in the garden, in Henning's garden, if you have a band and you want to come here and walk the death trap and play a show in Henning's garden, works. That's a perfect device. So uh, leaves one more thing. Let's try the acoustic okay. with XLR and uh, try to get it to feedback, I guess. <laughs> okay. How long is this video by now? Damn. Oh, long time. Long. Okay. So um, uh, you put that away, you get that uh, totally untuned. We, we don't have to tune it because that's not what this what is about. What is this? So, this one? Oh, it's the only. Okay. So I'm going to plug in XLR. Yeah. Oh. It's not about the guitar tuning, it's about the thing. You don't want to hear me play. Like that. So come on. That's the first thing students learn with me. Tune your guitar. I gotta go romantic now. What do I play? Should, should I sing? I don't know the lyrics. That, that's why I can't sing that. Not much of an acoustic player. Okay. The volume Where is... is... Oh, all the way up, okay. Oh. Fishman, ink. Okay. Go. That, uh, that seems to... I have level here. You connected it with the XLR now, right? XLR, yeah. Uh -huh. How's that feedback thing working? It's, well, it's not on yet. Wait a second. I'll go. But we have to well, hire. There's an acoustic RSP which is off. Should we turn the acoustic mm. RSP on? Yeah. Okay. What's an acoustic RSP? I have no clue. Okay, let's find out. It just... Ah, that's the that's the 31 different kinds of feedback uh, uh, killers. First of all, we have to see if we can get some feedback. I'm going to crank the level. Do I have to play? Yeah. A is usually good. <laughs> we can't even get feedback. Well, we don't have that level that you have on stage. Why not? But we can crank it up and have but a party. I have, I have little <laughs> your neighbors will love you. Monitor speakers here. So we can't test it because we literally can't get the level that you would have on stage. But you would turn that on, and then you have the different hertz where you can pick the hertz. But then apparently you also have 31 different filters which are for stuff. Um, While you explain and read through the, the description, I'll make some background music, okay? Enter feedback function with 31 filters. Come on, keep talking. So there are um, 31 different filters uh, for this uh, box 
gigabit. Um, it has an IR port for the ACT sync function. Uh, it works with a lithium ion uh, uh, accu. It's an ICR 18,500 uh, with up to four hours of uh, playtime. Um, <coughs> it's got um, <coughs> FSK modulation. Um, I don't know. It's. Come on, for for one ninety eight. This that, is a pretty yeah. good. This is a pretty good it's setup. A pretty good deal, and and you can use it for guitars, bass, right? And and it's probably it's easy to travel <clears throat> with, and it's a wireless system which totally works in Henning's garden. It didn't stutter at all, and we went, no. we went far <laughs> enough through a massive brick wall. Yeah. So you would never be on a stage that's as big as my garden. Yeah, because uh, and stages usually don't come equipped with walls in the middle or ferret cages. Yeah, you don't have that on a stage. So no, you're safe. Unless it's a really fucked up gig. <laughs> <laughs> Playing in between the chicken. <laughs> well, we've all played that one gig. Oh yeah, me too. There's like, why is there a ferret cage? Or or <laughs> w- w- this is this is a barn. Why are the cows still here? Um, <laughs> You know we've played oh, I, those I, gigs, I, I right? I played those shows for sure. Back in the days with my ACDC tribute band, I had some farmer shows. <laughs> but it's good. It's grounding, you know? You appreciate what you have now more than, like, if you start, like, a superstar. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what is our two cents on, on, on the whole system? <clears throat> we, we don't necessarily like the clip on itch. Yeah. Uh, for w- use with this, we kind of had to work around that. Exactly. And it works, but it's it's cool if you attach it to your to your guitar strap. But look, this is not on the acoustic. I don't mind it that much. Still, it's not pretty. Nah, it's not. It's I'm not. sorry, it's not. But it's that's not why you have this, and this is actually yeah. using it with the with the cord. That's pretty cool. And um, here's here's what they need, and I think that's what Harley Benton should think about. They need these individual elements as replacement parts. Yes, they especially need, like the battery. You have to. It should even come with two batteries, maybe. Uh, the battery as a replacement part, the transmitter as a replacement part. Yeah. Probably the clip as a replacement part in case you bend that too much. Most certainly this cable. If if you, this is a proprietary cable that you can't get you can't buy from anywhere store. else. Yeah. So y- all these should be available as replacement parts yeah. for you know uh, affordable money. Uh, um, what I think would be amazing, given that it has different outputs and can operate, uh, it says eight frequencies can be in parallel, which mm-hmm. means technically eight systems can operate in parallel. What would be great is if you could have two or three of the transmitters on two or three different guitars. Yes, and you can you, switch. Your roadie just gives you the guitar and then on, you, you hit the next program on the next program. That's for the next guitar. But... Yes. When we're speaking of the level of not pros, but, you know, like um, I got this <coughs> band and stuff. I wouldn't have a roadie. Yeah. I don't have that. I'm lucky if I have two guitars. I, I would keep it just like if you have one, just to have a second one charged as spare as something yes. goes okay. wrong. Okay. That's, okay. that's pretty much it. And it's great that everything comes twice. <coughs> two manuals. <and> two. <coughs> What's wrong with you? What, are you okay? Uh, it, it's very warm. I'm sorry that I made you wear this, but it's so nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do one more video, and we'll, we'll, we won't wear that. Um, so thanks, Toman T Bone. I think it's a cool system. Mine is a couple little grabs we had. Sorry for not knowing anything about it, or still not knowing what the SD card with the ACT does. She says pictures. I disagree. You find out. <laughs> oh. Um. Links below, all that yeah. stuff. Go check it out. Um, animals at the end. Yeah, animals at the end. Yep, and uh, thanks, Jen, for being silly. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah.